how to consolidate a folder of files from SharePoint and what's the quickest method to do it. Let's go. Here's the three files that I want to consolidate in my Excel file or my Power BI file. I'm going to use Excel, but it's the same concept and techniques in Excel. How do you do it? Well, the first thing you need is the right path. And that is the main root folder, which in this case is this SharePoint demo. So up until that part of the URL, okay, that's the bit you need, nothing more than that. So I'm going to copy that path. I'm going to go into Excel. I'm going to connect to, the, to that SharePoint folder. So get data from file from SharePoint folder. In Power BI, you just click the big Get Data button and SharePoint folders in the list. It'll ask you for the, for the path to start with. And if you hover over this little I, it tells you the root path, not including subfolders. It really is a pain if you accidentally include them. So there we go, we've got the path. I've left the slash on the end. I never remember whether you meant to or not, but let's give it a go. Click OK. And the very first time you do this, you'll have to sign in to your Microsoft account. Sign in. It should then remember it on this computer after that. OK, I've jumped through all my sign-in hurdles and my multi-factor authentication and everything else. And now I'm going to click Connect. Now, the problem with this is that every single file in your SharePoint folder gets listed. So you can't simply go combine and transform. In fact, this is a totally pointless button in my view. It's really, you know, this is everything in your SharePoint site that you've got access to, which is crazy um, within that sort of root folder. Um, okay, so what do you have to do? Well, I'm going to click for the transform data button. And this is a list of everything. And now the challenge is to go and find the folder you want. Now, let me start to show you the method and I'll show you a better method. So this is the, the, the sort of the terrible method is you've got to try and find the folder you want and filter on this list. In fact, a little trick, you can't make this column wider, but you can do this right click, move to beginning, make it wider. Okay. And if you don't want that step, then fine, just delete the step and you'll notice that the column's actually wider. What a weird hack. Okay, so there we go. We've got that little field here and I, I can filter down and there's ways of navigating through to this and then you've got to find the folder. And then once you find the folder you want, um, you've then come across here and you click this little double headed arrow. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. But I think a better way is probably the contents way. So it's the SharePoint contents. So a better way, you change this word files to dot contents, okay? Press enter, and you're given this sort of view. Now the thing you wanna do here is you wanna drill down into the various levels. So if I go to the shared documents and I click on table, it then lists all the subfolders and the what subfolder I want is this YouTube demo. Let me just bring this back up. So I'm under Documents, YouTube demo. If I go back to Documents, there's a few different folders in here. Okay. So if I go back here, there's it is. Click on Table. And there's the files I want. Okay. And now the next step to consolidate them is to click these this icon. But my recommendation, stop there. Call this SharePoint folder and then reference it, okay? I'll show you why in a second. Right click, reference. It's now linked, this one's now linked to this. And we can expand this out, click the little expand button. And providing all the sheets are structured the same and have the same sheet name, then this is pretty straightforward. In this case, every file just has one sheet called sheet one. So I click on that. That's all the data there is, you know, just those items there. Click OK. And it should then create this auto consolidation step 
I've got a whole nother video about how to consolidate files from a folder. I'll put a link in the show notes below so you can check it out. But ultimately we're done, right? This is the consolidation. And then you just go close and load. And every time you put a new file in there and click refresh or set up a scheduled refresh, if you're using Power BI, this data will get updated, okay? So check out my video as well about explaining all these steps. It's the consolidation video I've done. Okay, so the important thing is, you know, why did I use this SharePoint folder as a separate step? Well, the nice thing is if the files move to a different folder, for example, I can just change this to something else, potentially, if it's a different subfolder. And then the sample file, which refers to the SharePoint folder, and the consolidation file, which refers to the SharePoint folder, will both update, rather than you having to go and mess about with separate little queries. So I would do it that way. The other little thing, that little tip in here, in terms of this um, source step, and the navigation step. You see the navigation step jump straight to YouTube from this root folder? It doesn't seem like it's navigated down the various steps. So what you do, click on the advanced editor. This little step isn't actually showing, okay? And if you drill down a few layers, it doesn't show. So what I tend to do is this, just actually put a little thing there and call this something like, source2 equals source, and then refer to source2. Okay, and then click done. And then it breaks out your steps. So there you go, share documents. So you could even just rename this rather than source2. You could call this the um, main or high level, high level folder, something like that. Yeah, then into share documents, then into YouTube demo, or root folder great name okay so there we go that's how I'd approach it and this sharepoint.contents method is much faster than doing the filtering for the folders using the sharepoint.files method that appears out of the box so go for sharepoint.contents it's a better method it's one I'd recommend make sure you reference the query and then every time you just add a new file in you just click refresh and your report will update okay so close close and load to let me load this to a table, for example, in Excel. Here we go, there's my data. The only thing to be aware of is the SharePoint, in Excel, the SharePoint folder gets loaded as well. So right click, load to, only create connection. Okay, there we go. Hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think. Um, in terms of consolidating historical data, I'll do a video coming up soon about using data flows to actually consolidate your historical data. Now you can't yet use data flows with Excel, it'll be coming soon hopefully, but with Power BI you can, so stay tuned, I'll put links in the notes below to that video once I've done it. Okay, catch you later.